Okay. What is this kanji right here? That's it. Perfect. Can you read this for me? This iron cane is that of Neburi. Perfect. Yep. I don't think I ever taught you the no, but that, that's exactly what it is. It means it belongs to Neburi. Um, do you happen to recognize it's this osmosis. Kanji? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a door character. It is a door character. It means gate. So is it Aida? Good guess. Not Aida. It looks a lot like Aida. This is um Mon. I don't know why I wrote Mon there. Mon. Aida does have Mon. the gate character in there. Aida. But it has a little um sun in the middle. There's our little Hi. You draw a sun. Suddenly we're talking about an interval. But yeah, Mon right here means gate. Gate. It's a bushu. Oh. A what? A bushu. A bushu is sort of like um like a character that is that is the common character in all yes. of the characters so when yes. you look you look up a kanji in the dictionary you would first de decide which bushu this kanji mm -hmm. uh is under the section header of so yeah. the bushu is the section header so all okay. the character with the mon character in it would be under this character totally yeah lot lots of characters for it kind of like you know hidaku to open told you to do the close all got that gate kanji in there. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Hi. Sono tetsu no mon wa otoki otoki. Plus oki. Oki. Large door. Yes. That iron door is large. Hi. It's huge. You know how mon is different than door? I'm guessing mon is like a double door. It's a, a bigger a door. It's a door to the... Is a gate. Gates are normally outside right. of buildings and are part of like some kind of fence normally. Hi. So your house would be over here with a door so it's, it's... and the gate would be a little bit more after like the path. Gate. Look at that. <laughs> it's the entrance to the entire estate, not just oh, to the so... building. But to the compound. Yep. Can you read this word for me? Showman. Hi. Showman the is surface. the... Yes. That's a good guess. Men is surface and show is like correct. Uh, when they say correct surface though, they kind of meet the front. Like the front of a house, for example. Or the main door of the house or something like that. The showman. Rather than like the back part of the house. This is the main area people enter and come from. Shoulmen. Hmm, that's uh, kinda, interesting. You can think about it as the correct face. I... You show off your house to people. So people are supposed to face this direction <laughs> of your property. Because <laughs> I think I think I saw this. I heard this kanji as well when I was practicing with my sensei. Mm -hmm. And showman was a direct attack. An attack from the front is a showman, a strike to the front. That would probably make sense. Um, I'd believe that. Because that'd be, you wouldn't, because mm -hmm. the, the incorrect way to attack someone is from the back, right? That's backstabbing. So. <laughs> you, you can, you can, uh, you can attack from an angle. You can shift an attack from an angle. So like you can attack someone from the right side, the left side, the bottom and or the midsection a showman would be an attack from the top of the head from the oh. from the upper region towards the top of the head interesting i believe that that makes logical sense um can you read the sentence for me hey showman ni neburi ga atta it said Let's go reread this katakana. At the entrance. Ne Benetto. Oh Hi, my Benetto. I'm Perfect. telling you. It's like my mind see what it wants to see. No, that, that, that's 100% how it works. See what's in front of it. Um, that's, that's just how it happens. <laughs> I've Benet done the same thing so many times. That, you just that assume ne, it's, it's nobody. That ne, yeah, it's about the same that size. Ne, that ne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i 
I can imagine if a sentence was written in katakana, I would be ruined. Because <laughs> <laughs> so I would be able to read it. Just one, just one katakana, and it's already tripped me up. Mm -hmm. Let alone like multiple of them next to each other. Um, okay, so this sentence say that at the front of the compound, right at the showman, Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, Bennett is standing there. Perfect. Hi. Um. So the start was show. What did it end with? Men. Perfect. Uh. Da, 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 da. Can you read this for me? Showman ni, showman ni wa, teka, right? Teka. Uh yeah, can we pronounce Or it teshika? teka? I I pronounce it teshita personally, but teka is correct. Teka. Um, ita. No, no, Perfect no, no. guess. Uh, waiting. It's a uh, mata. Perfect. The um. The servant or the underling is waiting at the front, at the um, Yep. at the front entrance. Do you have any idea why this was in here? What's it doing? It marked it marked the uh, topic Yep. that So we it's are kind talking of saying about the most this important particular. thing is that we're talking about the 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 front entrance specifically. Yep. Right. Perfect. Um our next word is kyodai. Short kyo here. This is big. Large. Yeah. Like a giant, for example. I think Shojeki kyo is in... <laughs> I I think <laughs> has the same kyo in it anyway. Attack on Titan, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Kyodai. yeah. I'm pretty sure it has that kill in it anyway. The 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 Titan, the Titan is Koda is Kyodai. Um, I think it's a little bit different, but it definitely has the first kanji. It's the same. <laughs> but it might be Kyodaijin. <laughs> it might be that, actually. I Hold don't, on. I don't know. <laughs> Could be a human being that is gigantic? So, <laughs> make logical sense. Hi. Uh, can you read the sentence Hi. Isn't for that? me? Yeah? Hi. That's the kanji you saw in Dinosaur, isn't it? Isn't that in one of your Magic House? No. Magic House reading? Uh, Like dinosaur the large is dinosaur? um is different. Kyo ryu is dinosaur. The kyo comes from kyo fu, which is fear, and ryu um comes from dragon. Uh, it's a different kyo. It's a longer Yep, kyo. it's a kyo, and there's another longer kyo that shows up in kyo dai kyo dai, which um means siblings or is that short kyo? Wait, what am I doing? Right there. Look at our siblings. Ah, cold die is siblings. Kyodai, This yep. is cold cold die short. Kyodai. Kyodai. Yep. So yeah, let's go read the sentence. Cold die. Hi. Shomen ni shomen ni wa kyodai na tetsu no ma. A large steel door. But the topic here is the front. So the front ent at the front entrance, there's a large steel door. Hey, um, how is this different than a normal door? It's large, True, made true, of true. iron. True, true, true. But it's it's a gate. Oh, it's a gate. Yes, yes. <laughs> Not not a door, but but a gate is a gate. kind of door, but it just it, it feels it feels as a, as an American speaker, <laughs> they 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 give off very different ideas. When I hear this, a large iron door, I'm picturing like full on like. You can't see through it at all, like gate of truth type of like door. Like I I'm picturing like man versus gate. It, you could like have, you know, like this kind of gate that you can kind of peek and see the house through it. Hi, <laughs> Money, can I can I yeah. uh tangent a little bit what I've Cool, learned a totally. while back? There's the the kanji or the word for for locking a door, Mm-hmm. kaki, something. Kage? So Kage. the word for the kanji for the the lock is the same as the kanji for the key. Yes, that can Do you be know that? theoretically correct. It's both correct and not correct. So Joel can be locked, but Kagi, Kagi for key, Kagi. 
looks like that. Like that. So as you can see, theoretically, it has different two different it's kanji, a... but one of the but kagi can be used to be pronounced as jo. So uh there are times where ki and lock are the same kanji and times when they're different kanji. So, so on correct. that point, I was reading I was reading one of this kanji article about this. And the reason is the lock that they have for the mong, for the gate, mm -hmm. is, is basically a wooden, they had a wooden frame. It's like a piece of two by four, basically. And the way they lock the door is they just put the whole entire wooden frame on, on top of the latch. Oh. Uh, on the inside of the mong. Oh. So, so the key, the key is the lock and the lock is the key because of mm -hmm. how they they that that mechanism work so back then to lock something is to put on a key or to take something off is also to remove the key oh. that's why the kanji was the same that makes sense wow yeah if oh. you come across it you see it uh, because it had to do with this mong thing well this definitely does pop up in this book at some point the kagi being pronounced as joel to mean lock uh so de definitely true and since we had time during that thing, I could say, ha, huh, this is the word for Titan from Attack on Titan. Got this Kyo right there from Kyo Dai, but instead it's Kyo Ji. Kyo. Hi. Hi. Do, 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 do. Um, can you read this word for me? Hey. This is wow. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Uh, can you read this for me? Hey is a wall. <laughs> hey. Perfect. Can you read this for me? A hey is not. A hay is not a cabbage. <laughs> the the wall. There's the other wall. Takahe no. Sorry, I'm tangenting. Um, takahe no jo ni o ue ni ehe ga tata. So the bodyguard is standing at the top of the wall. Uh, yep. Top of the high wall. Yeah, I probably should have said tate da. Do, do, do. Um, what's this guy? It's. I was thinking of kabe. Kabe, yeah, wall. Yes, 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 kabe. Do you remember that one? Yeah. So hey, as a wall is more like um a fan uh the so kabe is like the walls of a building. Hey is like the walls mm. of an estate, like like the. A castle's wall of a castle or something yeah, like that. So these are the hay. You stand on it and the guard down on you. Yeah, and then, and then the house has kabe. It's a defensive wall. So so. Yeah, it's like a castle. It's like the moat. It's the outer wall of the castle. Exactly. So yeah, that that's how those two are different. Hey. Weird that they're the same in English. <laughs> Hi. But I imagine this hay have a rampart. In other words, you can walk on the wall. Yep. The guard can walk around the perimeter of that wall. Whereas the wall of a house, it's just a wall so, so. that hold up your roof. So, so. And this hay doesn't have a roof. This hay is an outer structure. <laughs> That's funny because hay kind of does have it. a roof. <laughs> as far as like, the kanji goes. Is it? <laughs> a little bit. It has this guy, which oh. is door, I believe. <laughs> and then it has like two hands. Yes. I think that's what this is. So two hands and a door. And I don't know what that is. This guy right Actually, here. Actually, that kanji that, that kanji that you just call door is technically oh. a corpse. It's a kanji for the word a corpse. Pretty sure it also shows up in door. And it just, yes. It's, it's, um. Yeah, right. I've seen this one before. It's You're it's, right. it's a corpse wrong. uh bushu. Bushu. Disgusting. Got all the corpse. Lifting up corpse. That's what a wall is. <laughs> this is a door. <laughs> right. Different kanji. Hi. Anyway, back to topic. Hi. How's this guy read? Hi, hi. It's um lining up. Yep. So yep. it's na na nande. Na, na bande. Nara. Narande. Narande. What's the dictionary form of this? Narabu. Yep. Bu. Narabu. 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 Perfect. And our next new word is kui. 
Kui is a Kui. steak. So normally when you think of steak, it's going to have the little pointy bits like this. Uh, theoretically, it doesn't have to have the pointy sticks. You could have a steak that is flat, theoretically. Um, but yeah, both of these, these are just a bunch of steaks being used to make a wall as a picture reference. Um, how do you read this word? Kui. Okay, kui. Kui. And our next word is togaru. Togaru is basically to be pointy. Hey, togaru. Hi. And this is a u verb, togaru. Uh, can you read this for me? Hey, togaru, kui. Um, he no ue ni kui ga tsurari to narabu. Perfect. So got fun sound effects. Tsura tsurari to? Yep. That's pointy? a sound effect for another. Oh, good guess. Uh, that's a different pointy is not here yet. That's togaru. Togaru. Surari is a sound effect for narabu to mean that the items are lined up in a row. <laughs> so it just means that Hi. it's a, a very nice even kind of lineup. So theoretically, you could be lined up, and it could be like you know, like not like along this like it doesn't have to be like you know spaced nicely. Surari things should be spaced nicely. You know, it should be boop, 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 every, like, I don't know, inch or something. Whatever you're um, imagining. Hi. Uh, so what's lined up hi, hi. nice and evenly? Kui ga. Mm -hmm. What's the, a kui? The, um, the kui. The, the steak. Yeah, the steaks. Like the kind you kill a vampire with. Ah. Right. I was laughing so hard earlier because... Earlier in the day, I was watching the history show about Vlad, oh. the Romanian vampire. <laughs> Wal Wallachia was the ruler. Vlad, um, I think his name was Vlad Dragu, Dragu. Mm. and he was the historical person. And he he basically takes pointy stake and he impel his enemy. Oh my! And lined them up. He lined them up. All along the the uh, the outer perimeter of his land. Now that you mention that, that does sound familiar. I feel like I learned that random fact from Saints. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's where I'm he 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 lined them up. He he used these pointy stakes and he just kind of pierced people. <laughs> Disgusting. And he and he he na like, he same. Na he narabu he narabu his enemies. So so. Did you think he did it in a Sudari kind of way too? Like he made sure to evenly space them out. Yes, yes. <laughs> he he, he Sudari it, and the sticks were like togaru. It was all pointy, and it was just so, so. it was just really messed up. He greases the stakes so that it's lubricated. Oh man, it's <laughs> yep. Nice. Yeah. Uh, anyway, he's, he's the true Twilight Lord. <laughs> yeah. So in this story, where are the stakes located? Where Where are these stakes? It's located he no ue ni, on top of the wall. Perfect. <laughs> uh, top okay. of the wall. So what's the tef form of togaru? Togaru, the tef form is, since this is the root verb, it's togatte. Yep, togatte. Togatte. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read the next line from the book. Takai... He no ue ni wa saki no to gata. Kui ga surari to narabu. Hi. The tall wall. On top of the tall wall. Saki. Saki no. Hi. Oh, so saki in gata. this saki in this context is the tips. So the tips of the kui. And the togata. You know togata. Togaru, mm -hmm. on the top of the pointy tip of yes. the stake. Specifically, it says the tips of the stake are pointy. Ah. This no right here this... would be ga if this wasn't a relative clause. Saki ga togatta. 
So, kui no saki ga togatta. So, the tips of the stakes are pointy. Togatta, koega. And they are gatsurari, tsurari to narabu. And they are evenly uh, spaced. They are evenly lined up. Yep. Perfect. Uh, um, uh, can you read this word for me? Te taku. Hi. Te taku is actually the word for mansion. So this is the mansion that would be inside of an estate. Inside of a um, yasuki. Um, do you remember how Hi. this guy is pronounced? Oku. Hi, oku. The depths. Um, what does the word end with? I mean, start with. Start with. Ended with taku. Te. Yep. Te, taku. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Mane. Yeah. That first kanji, the kanji on the left, the left part of te, is, is it itself te as well? Uh. It the, looks like. I don't think you ever the see part that, that by look, itself. Is it? Okay. Because I, I think you've seen it in the word for um like citizen or resident. You're right. It does it does mean te for resident. So like de or de democratic suffix. or something. Oh no wonder you probably see it looks like it's like a suffix to go after like something to like you said mean a residence. Hi. Um Kante hey, is an official okay. residence. So the prime mystical is Kante. Or kote. kote. So yeah, that, that's te always. One hundred percent te. I mean, if you asked me taku, I'd been like, oh yeah, it shows up in otaku, like <laughs> your house. Got got your otakus who are all nerdy. <laughs> te, I'm like, ah. What otaku is that kanji? Taku. Yeah. Taku, taku that, meaning your house. house? Yep. So oh. Te taku is house residence, but like house mansion. Anyway, house mansion. what does this sentence say? It say ya shiki no oku ni te taku ga aru. It say that at the in the in the inner the inside of the yashiki the estate Hi. lies exists the mansions perfect yep there is a mansion in the depths of the estate can you read this word for me got a 50 50 chance guessing the first kanji since the word that come after it it's sukuri i would say it's ishi sukuri correct ishi sukuri any guesses if what this it might had, mean? uh it is the stone that uh, uh, sukuri is what, what is sukuri? Sukuri is basically the same as this sukuri, which means to be made. So ichi sukuri is to be made from stone. Ah, ichi sukuri. Hi. Sukuri. Okay. So money. The yeah? the trick to this is basically, if the kanji that come after it had been another kanji, mm -hmm. then I would have read it using the the married form of it. So so. But if the if the part that come after is basically a, a kunyomi reading, mm -hmm. then the first part will also be a kunyomi reading. Yeah, it's it's funny how that tends to be. Same with like wakimichi, for example, that we saw a while ago, wakimichi, just side street. Because waki is always pronounced mm -hmm. as waki. You never change its reading. So that makes it wakimichi rather than waki do. Because waki doesn't Hi. have a married reading. Yeah, it's, it's kind of nice how there's a little bit of a pattern normally. I think there's a random couple of exceptions to that rule. I feel like I've randomly seen and you're always like, ah, how dare you? Hi. But yeah, let's go read this line. I think this is our last line of the day. Sono ishi shukiri no te taku wa higure, higure no kimi no. Hi. And I forgot what the sentence end with no mean. <laughs> knew it last time but let's start over here because you don't really need to know much for here what does sono mean hi so it's saying that that mansion that was made out of brick or is stone 
日暮れの君の is 日暮れ君の I mean that mansion belongs to the、yep. twilight lord exactly so this is a little rule that if we have like it defined what we're talking about which is the which is the um teitaku the mansion that rather than saying sono um ichijukuri no teitaku wa Hi gure no kimi no te ga, te kaku. Te taku. Rather than saying that, you can just drop the final te taku because it's insinuated by context. To mean it's his. We say that、yeah. the same in English, right? It becomes his versus just saying his. Rather than saying the mansion that's made of the stone is his mansion, we just say the mansion made of the stone is his. So we do the exact same thing in English for、um, this kind of thing with no being the possessor. Ah,、oh, okay. Like, whose umbrella is that? It's Sam's. We add that S. Sam no. Yep, Sam no. <laughs> oh, and we do have time, so we'll be doing the sky real quick. Hi. So, no, okay, wa, se no, takai, siki, tsukiri no, te taku. That inside, in that inner regions, Lies a um tall, um, there's a tall mansion made out of stone. Perfect. So rather than a wooden mansion, he has a stone mansion. Very nice. But here, there's also the modifier, se no. Hi, the se no the takai. Wall, like the... Oh, se, se no takai just means it's tall. um So、it's it, it, it is kind of odd to be using that to describe like not a human being, but it, it's just making it、mm-hmm. really obvious that it's very tall, I think. So, not the guy. But yeah, you're right. Normally, you、it's、just would say, the guy. But I think they want to make it really obvious that they're not saying it looks expensive because <laughs> takai can also mean expensive. So, if you said it's a takai,、oh, tegaku, you might be like, is that an expensive mansion or a tall one? You might have to guess. So, that'd be my guess why. Is over here to be kind of more specific.、Um, that makes、yeah. sense. That is where we are going to drop for the day. Any questions before we go?、Um, no questions. Cool.